My name is Grant Imahara, okay. and I am one of the hosts of Mythbusters on the Discovery Channel. And we use science to prove or disprove urban legends. <laughs> The basic ideas behind Mythbusters is not only do we test these urban legends to see if they're you know, using science, but we also build everything and we come up with how you, how you put these things to the test. And so that is those skills in, you know, and, and in the model shop I branched out from electronics to woodworking, um, machining welding, things like that, and these are all skills that I use on the show. When we set up an experiment, we, you know, it's usually you have to build something. My mom lives here. She moved here a couple years ago. I'm not from Hawaii, but um, since my mom's here, I end up coming, you know, every uh, Christmas and, you know, whenever I have a break, I try and get out here to see her. So, you know, when I'm here, if I'm in vacation mode and, and uh, just the past week, I spent uh, all week on Maui with my girlfriend, and when we were there, we we're just relaxing by the pool. There's, you know, no activity. We did go parasailing, and we did uh, the zip line, which was cool. Yeah, got to do some some activities, but for the most part, we just relax. And then when I come see my mom here, you know, I have, I have a bunch of friends here too, and uh, so in fact, one of them, Kevin Oki. Uh, owns Doraku Sushi, where I am tonight. Uh, and so when we're here, we just, you know, we go and hang and and take advantage of all of the great things that, that Waikiki has to offer. One of the things my coworkers asked me about, who's a fan of the show, he said, make sure you ask them. All the guys, Grant is the one that's always getting seasick and air sick, and whenever anybody's chuck, up chucking over the side, it's usually Grant. So, what's up with your stomach? How come you got such a weak <laughs> stomach? You know, before the show, I had no idea that I was susceptible to motion sickness. I'd never been seasick before. But then again, you know, I guess I hadn't been on that many boats. And we were testing seasickness cures. It was just one of the things that came up, right? Okay. Um, these are like uh, homeopathic remedies, like uh, ginger pills, and then there's a, like a watch that shocks yep, you, yep, and, yep. and you have this, this you Tabs know, on your hands. yeah, all these different crazy, crazy remedies, and so they needed somebody to, to be the guinea pig, and that's what we do, human guinea pigs. So they tested everybody on the crew, and it turns out that only Adam and I are susceptible to motion sickness. Absolutely. So, to begin with, Craig Ferguson, who has the Late Late Show on CBS, comes on after Letterman. Craig is a huge Mythbusters fan, and we started hearing, like, you know, he would mention Mythbusters on his show fairly regularly. And we're like, wow, you know, he's, we should, we should go on his show. So, first, Adam and Jamie went on, and they did an interview, and then they said, hey, um, you know, Carrie, Tori, and Grant, you guys, do you want to be on the show? We're like, yeah. <laughs> so we were on the show, and it was great. It was a, a full Mythbusters theme show. We met Craig. He's a really tremendously nice guy and honestly a, a really big fan of the show. So we're like, this is great. Flash forward a uh, couple months, and one of the big jokes that Craig has, a running joke on the show, is that CBS... You know, doesn't give him the nice set, and he, he doesn't have a band, and he doesn't have a sidekick, and you know, he thought ah, it would be great if I if I had something like that. Now, also around that same time, he just started uh, Twitter, just got on Twitter, and he happened to call his the people that follow him on Twitter his robot skeleton army. Just for, for no other reason that, you know, in his mind, that's what popped into his head and that's what he calls him. So at some point, he put two and two together and said, 
he should have a robot skeleton sidekick. And so he said, who, who, could, who has the skills to build me such a, such a thing? And ding, yeah, it's Grant Imahara. So I got a call from Craig himself and said, hey, I've got this great idea. I'm really energized about it. Would you, would you like to do this? And I'm like, great. He felt so strongly about this project, he was so enthusiastic about it. He's like, I, I really want to tell Grant this idea that I have. And so he said, I said, cool, here's the deal. You get me, I was probably at about, I don't know, 80 or 90,000 uh, followers on Twitter. I said, here's the deal. You get me to 100,000 followers on Twitter through whatever means, whatever campaign, and I will build you a robot skeleton sidekick. And I was like, oh, this is probably take And it, it was like 24 hours. Not even 24 hours, actually, like that. So, but, but it's been great.